What's up guys and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be playing some Fragpunk Alpha, the playtest. And we're going to be showing off the characters and then going with the gameplay. So yeah, this playtest has just came out and I'm, I'm going to be going through the characters. If you want to go through the characters with me, then you can stay here obviously. I'll leave some timestamps for each and every character that I go through in the training range. And then if you want to jump to the gameplay, you can just go into the little timeline on the video and jump to the gameplay. I'll leave some timestamps like I said so let's get right into it so first things first I'm gonna be explaining some stuff so this is the weapons that you get there's a sniper marksman rifle like machine guns and everything like that we're just gonna be going with like a SMG and then second there you can have like a blaster that the standard issue blaster can meet any battlefield challenge and any shard this vision fires mini grenades which is really cool and then there's a flash that fires a flash grenade and then of course the smoker does what the smoker does so there's really cool like secondaries you can get that do that and then melee of course there's, me there's just one melee but then there's these characters so each character has abilities so this is broker and then there's nitro and then it keeps going on and on broker's first ability is q a shoulder mounted rocket that causes explosive damage so it's just a rocket so if you get in here as you can see this game looks really sick so the rockets like this look at the rocket that is insane so i wonder how this is in multiplayer but as you can see, the reload is pretty insane on it. And yeah, that's just really cool. Then his E. E is like a smoke grenade, I'm pretty sure. So it basically lays a smoke screen around. So when you throw his E. So if you want to smoke a place off like this, you can just smoke it like that. It doesn't, a regular smoke grenade does not do this. This leaves like an actual trail. So that's pretty cool. And then his T is the cherry bomb, a throwable energy device that generates multiple energy bombs upon hitting the ground. So what this looks like, there's a T. The animations are so cool in this game. You throw that on an enemy and then these are the bombs that will explode every couple seconds. There you go. So people have to run out of that to not get hit by them, of course, and or not just like touch them. It looks like they have to touch them for them to explode. So that's really cool. The next character is Nitro. So Nitro has a chug chug. This is what Nitro's ability is. So has this little robot you can throw around on the ground. And of course you're controlling it. So as you can see, she can just throw down this robot and then she goes around and you can just click on people and do 20 damage. And basically you have unlimited ammo, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, this is basically all it does. You can go back to first person mode, shoot people, and then you can use the robot again to jump around and Shoot a little 20 damage, so that's going to be useful for getting people low HP, of course. So her E is a double level wall. A lot of these characters do have cover abilities. So you throw that down, and it's just a wall. So you can hide behind it, fight people. And then, of course, you can destroy the wall. So reload real quick. And you can destroy the wall. Enemy can destroy the wall. And then you can go up to remove it and get that ability back to place it again. You can't place it on top of surfaces like this. So I'm guessing people would, are going to do this with a sniper, maybe. So I'm guessing people are going to do this with a sniper and just sit here and try to snipe people through this. Do little cracks and interesting placements with the walls. And then this is Mr. Pew Pew. You throw a turret that fires on enemies. So there it is. It's going to automatically fire. And then you can reclaim it. You can also throw it on top of the walls and on the walls or on the ceiling throw it anywhere it's like a sticky turret so that's really cool so the next character is hollow point uses a single shot electromagnetic sniper rifle has different scopes when aiming down sights the weapon charges reveals enemies in field of view so this is what this looks like that's really cool that animation and then you can see him through the wall And then, yeah, so if you target them, you can see them through the wall a little bit when you do that. Yeah, it reveals enemies in the field of view. So I, obviously you can see them and then you can go behind walls a little bit to see them a little bit more for a split second. And then when you shoot somebody, it's basically a one hit kill. Once it's fully charged. And that's pretty insane. So I feel like this is going to be a little broken. These enemies will be displayed. So you can stop the smoke screen if you want instead of going that far. So it's right here. And then you can just spray through it. So it's an interesting uh, ability. Very interesting. But. As you can see, once it goes through, it makes a little noise on the enemies. So you can realize that it went through somebody. So if you just throw it around a corner or something, then you can hear that little noise and realize that you, you know, ping somebody through it, basically. Somebody walked through your smoke screen. 
So that's really cool. It's like a digital smoke screen, basically. And then Paparazzi deploys a trap that automatically attaches to a nearby enemy and exposes them. The gadget can be destroyed or removed by interaction. So it exposes somebody. So as you can see, they're exposed. So if you go over here, they're still exposed, still exposed, and still exposed through the wall. So she's going to be very useful if you just place this somewhere. So say if you place it right here on the wall or something, and someone comes around this corner and gets hit by it, then, of course, they'll be exposed. But as you can hear, it does beeps. It beeps really loud. So they'll definitely hear that. So your best bet would probably be like throwing your smoke screen down, maybe placing it behind it, letting enemies run into it, things like that. Next character is a Jaguar, which is very interesting. So some of these characters do have passive abilities, only certain ones. So Livewire deploys an electric shock trap that heal that deals damage and slows nearby enemies, as well as adding a hunter last gift to them. So here's what this is. This is another trap. And as you can see, it does insane damage if they are stuck in that. So you can place this anywhere. Place this around a corner and someone walks into that. They'll hear it, but same thing as the other one. As the other trap, basically. And the Hunter's Last Gift, by the way, after being affected by Jaguar skills, enemies carry Hunter's Last Gift. When I can see for miles, it's activated. Enemies with Hunter's Last Gift are detected. So you can basically see them through things. So this is the electric cage. So you can... It's like this. You press it he looks so scared. and then there's a cage and that's pretty insane so basically place this cage anywhere you can place it like this so enemies are stuck in that cage that are in front of you and anywhere that you send that force field there's like two cages that pop up and i'm guessing on the enemies if they are around so it'll automatically pop up and then you can just kill them while in the cage and i'm pretty sure they do a little bit more damage while they're in the cage and it blinds it like messes with them and all that and then of course c for miles is basically detects enemies that are low hp so enemy detected three, four. So if we make someone low HP like this, as you can see, if you pop this around a corner, so you pop that ability around the corner like this, and someone's low HP, the closer you are to them, obviously you can see them. So you can see them through a wall like this. So that's really cool if they're low HP. And then you can just finish them off. Now Corona, next character, fast lane. Dash is for a short distance. The dash distance is shorter when moving vertically. So this character is definitely going to be for one of those people that like to play very fast. So that's the dash ability. Pretty cool. You have a little cooldown on it. And you can only dash forward. It looks like you can't dash anywhere else but forward. So it's very interesting. Ashes to Ashes throws a device that activates a war zone when hitting the ground, dealing minor damage over time to enemies in its zone and provides Corona himself with damage reduction and speed booster when he is in its zone so that's what that looks like so if i get in here i get a little speed boost as you can see around me get a little speed boost and it damages people a lot and then hothead is the last ability after a short charge blinds all frontal enemies looking directly at chrono so there you go it's gonna blind everybody once that goes off as you can see they're all blinded and then it goes off so it lasts it's a really short time but if you can pop this around a corner or something it can definitely blind people really hard and that's really cool this character is definitely like a you pop this ability and then you press q in here bam and then you just blind everybody so it's kind of like that you use these abilities as a combo and then you can always throw that first maybe do some of this and then dash in front of their face blind them all while they're in this as well and you'll get a bunch of kills next is Serket. station to station places a controllable beacon and within a limited time click the left button to teleport to the beacon's location so that looks like is this as you can see you can see the enemies in tele in like a tornado form and then you can teleport behind people that's going to be pretty insane if you think about it like you can just go around the corner have a beacon right here you can also cancel it if you want but for the most part you're gonna have a beacon it's gonna be over there and then you can see the enemies in the tornado forms that's pretty cool how the character is designed like that you can jump in this as well and then you can tp somewhere else so they won't know where you are let's say if someone's running after you you can just run around the corner like this shoot 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 someone's after you you could do a beacon and then if he's running around you think go behind him it doesn't sound like you make any noise and you can kill him i feel like that's gonna be a little broken dust woman releases a dust tornado that moves forward slowly blinding and slowing enemies in range so her whole kit's pretty cool in my opinion i like her tornado kit and there's the tornado 
and that's going to blind the enemies while it's going in their face of course and it's going to slow them while they're in it so that's going to be really cool for pushing up and moving up into closed off areas you can just use that ability a bunch and obviously you can see it goes very far and, and for very long our last ability is the lemma probable gadget that drags enemies towards so you can basically use these in combos so you can place this down and as you can see they're stuck in that and then you can throw a tornado on them and then just shred them it's gonna be very hard for them to move and they can't really move in that right they're gonna get stuck towards it as you can see so save someone's over to the right like there and you can suck him over there so he's not beyond the cover so it's a really cool ability i like the i like the, her theme a lot because she's more tornado-y deserty it's really cool how they basically made her character now, next character, Pathogen. I think that's how you say it. Pathogen? Path Pathogen? Pathgen? Something like that. So, Emotional Rescue throws a gadget that creates a healing field, restoring health to all friendlies in its zone. So, just like a healing like that. So, as long as you're in this, you're basically getting healed. It's kind of like a Soldier 76 from Overwatch's ability where you can just heal people and your enemy and your teammates can get in here, get healed while they're shooting and fighting. Basically, same thing as Soldier 76's ability. Shroom Wall is the next ability. Uh, basically, a fungus wall on the ground or in a doorway. So, as you can see, it's like this. You can place it anywhere as you want, just like the other ability. And then you can have a fungus wall. You can destroy this wall as well. It destroys pretty fast, but you can place it like on top of things. And like I said again, you can try to shoot under this one, but this one looks like it goes all the way to the ground, so you can't really do that. So it's kind of a disadvantage, but... You can go up to the wall and recall it back as well if you wanted to. And also her passive is chemical, chemical Romance. She's immune to poison damage, which is a really cool trait. So anyone that has poison damage in this game or any poison abilities, she can't get damaged by. A throwable trap that can be activated manually or triggered when an enemy approaches. Lancers within its range will receive damage over time. Basically what this looks like, like that. And that's the poison that I'm talking about. This is kind of poison, so you can go in here. You won't get damaged by your... Trap. That's really cool. You can throw a runner right here. And this one doesn't make any noise. This one's gonna be a more powerful trap just because it doesn't make any noise, so you can place it anywhere as you want. So it's gonna be very hard for them to hear it. They can't hear it at all actually, so they'll be running into this and just blowing up. So that's really cool. Zephyr. Pretty sure I'm pronouncing that right. Enters optic cloaking mode, which cycles between full invisibility and semi-invisibility. Only melee weapons can be used while in this state automatically deactivates once firearms are employed or when under attack so this character is more of a sneaky character you go in invisible and yeah you can just sneak around and it's really cool i feel like that bar right there where as you can see in the middle of the screen that little tiny bar that like a box that's white that basically makes it so when it hits that you can see that her hands are kind of going in out of visibility so it's a little nerf to her ability but it's really cool to make her very balanced so people players can somewhat see you when you're in that red box on your screen that little hud so you got to be careful about that but other than that you can sneak up on players and just knife them right click them you can knife them a little bit if they're low hp too and also you can just get to other places so go invisible run to a place before it gets to that white box and yeah you can just go behind people and finish them off her E is fade away. Select an area in which Zephyr can become fully invisible when using her Midnight Ramble. The cloaking time is unlimited and will not be disrupted when being attacked. There you go. So that area, pretty sure she can go invisible for the whole time on this area. So obviously when you leave the area, she can't. And then when you're in here, it stops the clock. And that's basically all that ability does. So you just place it somewhere. Like on the corner or something like that, you go invisible, and now in this area, if the enemies are in this area, they can't do anything about it. They are literally just in an area where she has invisibility to the max, and you can also place it down once you're invisible in the first place, so that's really cool. So you can stay invisible forever until I'm pretty sure they can destroy that. I am actually don't know. The last ability is get back. Destroys a dagger beacon. Reactivate the ability to teleport to it. After a short delay, the beacon can be destroyed using this ability will not interrupt the invisibility of Midnight Rainbow. So if you're in her queue, and then you can press T. And you can have 
like a teleportation. So there's our teleportation spot that you just did. You can place it while you're invisible as well. So if you're invisible, someone's pushing you right here. You need to get back. Bam. So I feel like this character is going to be very, very OP in the game just because people are going to use her invisibility to her advantage. I think she's going to be really good. We'll have to see. But you can place this teleportation anywhere and they can destroy that beacon. So you have to be careful about that where you want to place it. But you can go anywhere in the map and literally just press your button again. And there you go. Surprise. Really cool. Really cool. I like it. Next is Kismet. Hello, goodbye ability. Generates a frontal scan of all enemies in range. Tell us what that looks like. So there you go. It scans all enemies that are in the range. So let's see if we can scan them back here maybe. If we throw it over there. There we go. There's more. So anywhere that you're aiming forward, basically, you'll scan the area. So say if there's a wall right here and you couldn't see, then you'll scan them. And obviously you can see them through the wall when you do scan them. So... There you are. There you go. So, can you do that? You can do that. So, let's see if you aim forward. Yeah, so it'll basically go anywhere you're aiming. So, if there's like a wall in front of you, it'll still go through the wall over there. You don't have to aim up or anything. Mystery Angel throws a bomb that deals damage to enemies in range, regardless of the barriers. So, this is basically a grenade. And there you go. It's just it's just a grenade. That's all this is. You can bounce it off of walls, I'm pretty sure. Just like a regular grenade. And yeah, it'll blow up. So you can throw it far. If you want. And I didn't hit that guy, but you know the deal you know. And then last but not least, walk on the wild side. Enters rift walk stage, becoming invisible and invulnerable. Ooh. But unable to see other lancers and gadgets. That's interesting. So let's go into some mode. Oh, that's really cool. So you can't see them, but you're invisible, you're invulnerable. They can't see you. They don't know where you're going to go. So it's basically a last-ditch last effort of getting out of combat. So say if you're in a fight and he's about to kill you or something, you just pop this really quick before he can kill you, and then you can just run off into the void. You don't know where he goes, but also he doesn't know where you went as well, of course. You can't cancel it early, it looks like, but you can definitely just run away, and that's really cool. I wonder if you can go through a play, let's see. Yeah, you can't go through a player, so if you run into a player, you'll realize that you're obviously ran into a player. And then last but not least, Axon. Electric Guitar. This this ability is really interesting, actually. Electric Guitar modified for shooting that deals high damage to close-range enemies, so it's like a shotgun. Press the aim key, this quickly throw two sticky fingers bombs. Every kill made with the guitar replenishes two uses. So this is very interesting. You literally pull out a guitar it's like a shotgun and as you can see every time you get a kill it's gonna replenish that right click so you can throw that right click these are the sticky grenades they stick on the enemies as you can see and then they blow up so you can't get that off of you i don't think it's like a semtex in call of duty and then every time you get a kill they'll replenish so it's really cool yeah this ability is just really badass to me it's very unique that they thought of having a guitar like this to have it has a shotgun on it and these kind of abilities are just really cool the next ability sticky fingers throws a bounty sticky bomb hold down the skill key to keep throwing the grenade bounces off surfaces until it sticks to an enemy or detonates automatically when its timer is up so same thing what i was doing there but you know it's your own ability so you can throw a bunch of them i don't know how many you can throw i don't know if it's unlimited or i don't know if it's Maybe three or four of them or something, but that is pretty broken if it's more than three, I would think. <laughs> and then also his passive was Dark Slide. When sprinting, Axon can crouch to slide. So there you go. I think this is the only character in the game that can actually crouch and that can actually slide. Let's see. Yeah. So Axon is the only character in this game that can slide. Which it's very interesting seeing that that this is the only character that can slide and other characters can't. Very interesting, because you would think every character could do could do a good slide, but it's not the case, only Axon. So if you want to play your Call of Duty before Black Ops 6 comes out, then there you go, there's the character. And then last but not least, Super Freak, when activated Axon is immune to visual disturbances. So I'm pretty sure when you do that, you can't get flashbangs. 
and other things like that so this will last for a little bit so you can't get flash banged you can't get messed up in that way so let's see what this happens when you blow up yeah it doesn't matter for effects but i'm pretty sure you can't get blinded and things like that when you're in that mode and that's all the characters other than the characters there's the weapon there's like a shotgun there's just normal stuff and then there's like the flasher so yeah all these weapons have a unique very very unique sound design unique everything in my opinion i feel like it's really cool even the flash grenade you can throw a flash grenade blind myself but yeah other than that let's get right into the game and let's try this game out i know there's a card system as well so there's a few modes in this game there's classic deathmatch so it's this team deathmatch scrimmage where you just go in there. there's no rules no winners you just literally just have gunfights and have fun and then there's like a horde mode for bots you kill bots over and over again and then there's a competitive mode. This is the main mode in the game where they have shard card rules. So shard cards come in different rarities and everything like that. So these cards will definitely change the pace of the game and everything like that. And this is the competitive mode. It's basically like a Valorant style, Counter-Strike style game where you have a bomb, you defuse it, you plan it on the other team and things like that. So if the teams are three to three, the match moves to a series of individual duels. That's, that's interesting. So this is the card you get to vote on inject with draw so you can redraw load all animals into one mag generate chain lightning i kind of like this one when a bull hits an enemy it creates a lightning chain which can damage then for me so i like this one and then what get rid of this so i injected that one but it looks like people wanted this one so yeah there's voting there's a voting system here for competitive mode and it looks Time like they fight. voted for that one to have so there's the bomb. I don't want the bomb. You just start off instantly. Okay. Oh, this is the prep phase. Okay. Headshot master. Enemies. Crucial card. So that's their card. And our card is that ammo one or whatever. Okay. Okay. I just wasted both my skills. Oops. And what is my... Okay. My Q is the sniper. So it does have... It has five shots. All right. So I can place a landmine down here maybe. Oh. Got him. Gotta go to our sniper. Oh, I can't see anything. All right. Enemy left. So what is interact? Okay, it closes the door. I didn't know you can close the doors in this game. All right, so do we? All right, we have to plan. All right, our teammate's planning. All right, we won. <laughs> so yeah, it's very reminiscent of kind of strike. This is so cool though. This is a final kill. Ooh, got a good headshot on that guy. So now there's new rules. Every round it switches up, so that's cool. So you get to vote on these. So. Uh, deploys two combat bots on your team. That's interesting. Extra pellets. Shotgun fire. So this guy's voting for that. Shotgun fires extra pellets per shot. So it looks like we're going to do that. Because everybody's voting for it. And then withdraw. What is withdraw? I don't know what withdraw does. I guess it... Yeah, I guess you can redraw for your team. So this is what we're going to have. And this is what they're going to have. They're going to have two cards though. That's interesting. So now since we had a shotgun one, we're going to obviously pick the shotgun that's what i would think so it's going to be a different gameplay style every time so you can say rng is going to be in this game a lot but it just makes it fun so you get an extra pellet per shotgun shot so i do have the automatic shotgun so okay there's probably going to be cool spots okay let's jump in here put a landmine over here just in case someone comes behind us i do have a wall let's push a wall two walls just in case oh guy around this corner we got him watch this way don't see anybody okay there's a scan on us we can remove it yeah we gotta go over there oh the guy behind me we got him nice yeah so that was my mine that popped off my sonic mine these mines tire reminds me of Underhill tournament if you think about it Ooh, got that guy he had a rocket oh no there's no more guy left did we get him nice we got him this is insane there's my teammate going off so i threw that field it looks like he was able to push because no one's gonna go to the right right so that was a good shot by him actually so okay so you get movement speed vampire bullet increases sharp Shard point input increases 
card power. So we can do that, and then we can do... We can do that, so we can do two. So I'm just going to do that. So there was something about that. You can't use the same gun in another round. So you can't use the same shotgun, maybe? That's interesting. Okay, I don't want the bomb. Someone else can I'll get the bomb. You know what? I'll, I'll be the player. I don't even know how to plant, but I'll be the player. Probably the same button as... <laughs> probably the same button as uh, Valorant. We should go mid and try to fight that. I don't think my teammates want to. Okay, so we got Vampire and then we got Mass Cheetah, so we run faster. I'm not seeing anybody. Oh. I'm gonna shoot a wall. I can slap the smoke screen right here. I'm not seeing anybody. Oh! Guy right here. Smoke the screen. Got him. Oh, I'm low HP. Nice. Helping my teammate out. Alright, we can plant. Oh, oh, turn. Okay, we're good. And there we go, we won that round. <laughs> the planning's so cool too, like... Planning that bomb looks so neat. This game is super unique as in like the graphics and everything like that of course. And the Unreal Engine 5 just makes this game look so good. This game's definitely going to be a huge tournament type game. Alright, so here we go, here we go again. Bio War... Bio War respawn as zombies once? What? Triggers on death, that's cool. Okay, the prep phase, so... Let's place a teleport back here maybe. And then I'll go down there and see what I can do in man. <gasps> oh! Oh, they don't like me. Okay, so I'm, I'm fully invisible. I can go behind them. Well, my teammate just wrecked both of them. Don't even need it. Oh. Okay. Missed my stab. And then this guy's over here somewhere. So, oh, this guy over here. Come here. My kill. Gotta be another guy. Yeah, there's another guy. Hey, there's bomb. Bombs on the ground. Just ran over it. Hey, there's me. How do you keep getting behind this guy? Set. We're just running. <laughs> what do you? What does this guy mean? Oh. Okay, there's another guy behind me. So I'm just gonna TP out. Okay, I'm gonna play, place another one here. My team is fighting down there. All right, Let's help them out. That's bomb. I think there's a guy up here. TP behind him. The only way to try. It was nice. Double kill, right? This vector is really nice. All right, let's place another TP. I'm invisible. Let's put this on top of the bomb so you can't see us. Oh, the guy right here. Okay, he's in the corner. Got him. Nice. Yeah, this character's pretty insane. I didn't even get to use this. I should have bounced this off the wall, but whatever. Yeah, I like this character the most, I think. Just because he has the TP. The teleporter just comes in clutch. When I heard that guy above me, right where I just was. And then you see the footsteps on the ground as well from the card, but... Okay, so more cards, more cards. So, deals extra fire damage for the shotgun. Regain health slowly and get double jump. Ooh, double jump though. Well, we need this, obviously. What about this? Do we just save our money then? I guess you just save your, your points because your team's not going to be able to get this if you vote on it, right? So you just waste a shard, maybe? The shard is really cool. So it's random, I guess, with how many teammates can vote on a card and how many cards you guys can get. So if you guys don't agree on a card, you really need to agree on a card because if you don't, you just won't get the card and you'll have nothing. So we have 0 0.7 coins. Apparently to vote on stuff, so no healing for enemies. Looks like they got they got medical here. No healing for enemies, and we got healing. What? It's interesting. Oh, maybe we can't. Oh, we can't heal. That's what they have. That's not good. But then we can heal. So I guess that counteracts it. They can crouch, so they can't hear you. But okay, there's guys over here. Huh. 
Gotcha. Anyone else up here? Nope. Snowy landscape that allows sliding. That's actually really cool. It changes the map. But yeah, we got to get this. So we already have that. And I can vote on something else. So my three teammates voted on this, and then I'll vote on something else. Okay. So we got chain reaction. And the map snowy. Look how cool this is. It changes the whole map from a card. Like, that is awesome. I love that. Throw this actually here. Maybe. Place on mine as well. Oh, I saw a guy right here. Oh, no. That assault rifle is not, not it. He used it too, though. He got me, though. Oh, he was blind firing, man. Damn. So you can... You can walk if you just hold all... It looks like... I think that's what it said, yeah. Stand by for sniper. Get so you don't make any foot noises. So invisible here. Ooh, ooh, there's bombs. I'm going in the middle from here. Yeah, I should go help my team, okay? My teammate. I can walk. Oh. Got him. Nice. So this is locked. Can you get in here? So you gotta hack it. Okay, so you gotta hack the door to get in on their side. That's really cool. Oh, oh, there's a guy right here. Nice. Let's go on, team. This guy behind? Oh, teleport. Oh, is there a guy back here? So can you close the door again or hack it or no? No, it doesn't look like it. So I can't go invisible anymore. I can't use my other ability. I can only use the teleport. Activate med kit. Okay. Interesting. Won that. Easy. It's really cool that you can have doors locked like that. The defenders can lock it. Oh, is this me? Yeah, this is me. Good little headshot there, and then I pushed the other guy. Well, this is another map, actually. Oh my god. Just taking all the bullets. I have 10 HP now. We do have that card where we regain HP, but... Place a little beacon over there. Okay, my teammate got him. Let me place this so I can move up a little bit. I've not got a kill with the sniper yet. You can place that mine so far. That's crazy. My teammate's got the bomb. This map looks really nice, too. Ooh. Missed. I just lost enemy out. Got him. Ah! I thought he was going to be over here. Oh, it's so satisfying, too. Oof. So satisfying when you get a sniper shot on that. This character. This map looks so cool, too. Like, this map's, like, more different. A little bit different. Looks like it's... We're in like a jungle factory area. Okay, solo HP. No. <gasps> no. I just got him. I didn't even see that invisible guy. No, he was solo HP. Oh, I got someone with my trap. Oh, we got three. Nice. He's actually gonna. Oh. The guy tried to knife him. What if we want to do a player's fight in order? Ooh, that's cool. I'll do number three spot. So there's also duels in this game. Before I end this video off, duel round one. So there's a 1v1 duels if it comes to like a draw in the game. 
between each team. That's really cool. Keeps us very competitive. Oh, let's see who wins this. Oh, he's got a shotgun. Ugh, my teammate's good if he just stays away. Okay, I don't know what that guy's doing. <laughs> he just jumped up, did nothing. There's already toxic people in this game too, it's funny. This guy's writing L in the chat over and over again. Wow. Buns. This guy, they're talking shit in the ch they're, they're just like... So yeah, I guess, I guess whoever just, whoever just owns the other guy just wins the, wins the game for their team. That's crazy. So you don't even get the fight in a 1v1, you just, whoever, whoever just wrecks the other person wins basically. Punk, what do you guys think about this game? I think this game's really neat, really unique. I feel like it has a lot of uniqueness to it just because of the card system and I haven't seen anything else like this before, to be honest. So it's very fresh, new style of game and you get some items. What character are you most interested in in this game that you guys will play? I think Zephyr or however you say her name is the best for me just because she can go invisible and all of that. But what is your favorite Lancer? Let me know in the comments below. And if you did like this video, you can always leave a like on the video. And also hit that, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And turn on the bell with notification icons. Always get notified when I do upload a brand new video here on YouTube. Yeah, have a great day, internet guys. All right, guys, peace.